check for advanced restart button in this rom it's available you can directly boot into record using that option if it is not available you can use the traditional method to boot into record by pressing the volume up button and power button and links to the firmware and the twrp record is in the community section have a look on community section i will be asking questions also and as you can see this is the latest version available for poco x 3.60 love and to surya twrp go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section again and select install and select the micro sd card where you downloaded the rom zip files and flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 global firmware flash it done again go to home section here and select install and select the rom zip file in this video i am going to show this nasantara project it's not getting flashed so i am trying this coros os version s 2.1 revolt this is the latest build available it's an unofficial build you can see here Carbus OS S 2.1 Revolt Edition 2022-45. I mean, security patch is April latest one. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. As you can see, the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully. Go to Home section again and select Wipe and select Format Data and type here YES and press this tick button. Done. Again, press this home section and select reboot and select the system. This is how the flashing method for Poco XC Carvus OS latest version for Poco XC. In this video, we will going to see what all the benchmark results, BGMA gameplay, especially in Sanok and as well as TDM and also how is the charging speeds. Everything will be explained in detail and here we go. It's booted into Carvus OS. Let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampati, you are watching Sampat SamFX YouTube channel. And this is the Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Here we go, Corvus OS, latest version for Poco X3, Android version 12, 5th of April 2022, latest security patch. Kernel user is 4.14.190. Quick silver puff Surya kernel has been used. Ceiling status is M4 sync. And I have been running the CPU throttling test from 5 minutes. You can see here maximum is 139 and minimum is 78 and average is 134. It's throttled to 95, sorry, 90% of its maximum performance. It's nice. That's not the problem. Just initially it was minimum. But I don't believe in those application results. And let's see the benchmark results. And uh, here we go. The Geekbench results in this particular ROM. The single score is 519 and multi score is 1577. And kernel has been used here. Quick slope of kernel has been used as I said before. And uh, coming to anti to benchmark results, it's also fine enough as you can see 359,244. And temperature raise was just 0 0.1 degree Celsius and 2 percentage of battery drop has been noticed. And one thing I really liked is. 0 0.1 degree celsius that's really minimum even with this summers it is really minimum in my opinion and let me uninstall the anti to benchmark results first now into the app settings drm info here you will get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom and google maps also going to be working fine no problem regarding that too and uh, regarding safety net status might get passed but this is an unofficial build as you can see it get failed once the official build get it will come out of the box i mean out of the rom you will get that pass but if you want to pass manually now also you can do it with cts profile match fix then it will get passed that's how it is and coming to dialer here you get like this dialer and let me increase a little bit of volume you will get direct video call feature in this particular rom and there is a call recording feature as you can see and it will notify the other person that you are recording the call and there is no problem in earpiece or anything like that and let me swipe let me swipe here okay 
into the widgets i already shown you widgets are available here and home settings this is how the launcher it reboots okay notification dots change settings and allow it raven launcher has been used as a pre-install launcher if you want you can use any other launcher too that's going to be working fine themed icons app themed icons there are some options even developer options are also given as you can see you can enable or disable some of the options from here google search bar also you can enable or disable from here this is the home screen and coming to quick settings panel you can edit here as you can see if you drag from here you will get a lot more options again and power button this is how there is an no advanced restart button let's see in the customization whether it is available or not and torch light as you can see is working fine and camera access mic access is also working fine dark theme i'll talk about that later and screen recording as you can see device and microphone you can record together to make if you want you can use any third party screen recording apps which are present in the play store let's go into settings as you can see this is how the settings panel looks just swipe here and you get a carvas settings and into theming you get plenty of options here white luminous and chroma factor you can adjust their values and head body font you can change a plenty of customization available in icon type and icon style wi-fi icon style and even icon shape also and use custom color option is there just disable that if you want you can use them and the status bar option you get traffic indicators as you can see you can enable and you can customize them further status bar and clock and date settings and status bar items you can enable or disable from here and into the lock screen settings you get double tap to wake on those that's available and battery settings you get battery styles plenty are given and you can even customize this as you can see now it's in green color toggle colorful battery icon if you enable that you will get that kind of color where to choose the color i also don't know if you know that do let me know in the comment section below and charging animation you can enable from here and battery estimations also and into notification settings you get heads up and heads up less annoying you can enable or disable from here and button navigation bar keyboard cursor control is there and toggle torch when screen off and disable power menu on lock screen those things are given in this particular rom and miscellaneous settings here this is very important in order to get unlimited photo storage in google photos app you need to enable this and unlock higher fps in games like if you want to play bgm or call of duty or any battleground type of games or any other games just enable this you will get higher fps in that particular games that's very important you need to enable this manually now these are the curves settings you get into the device settings into the apps if you want to change the default apps from here you can change home launcher if you want to keep it as a some other launcher phone app to true color browser to some other browser you can do from here and there are options like special app access there are plenty of options you can see for example picture in picture mode those things you can give access from here or you can deny them from here into the battery settings into battery usage as you can see 15 minutes while flashing this rom it was around 75 percent if you watched the video from the beginning you will know how it is and the battery life surprisingly it was very good i did not thought that this is a performance oriented rom actually but you will get a very good battery life in this particular rom battery manager is given battery server there is an extreme battery server like we get in pixel experience roms and optimization profiles are also given and coming into sound settings you get all the basic settings and even direct sound settings are given here you can choose the headphone type and preset from here haptic feedback you can adjust the intensity from here that's also there and clear speaker option is also given and some of the options you can see here you can enable or disable from here into the display settings you get adaptive brightness locks in screen timeout and even the minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate i kept to 60 and 120 and uh, you can adjust them with your liking and ambient display as you can see it's also given plenty of options you can see here and display color mode you get these kind of settings i kept to 265 saturation a little bit popped out colors you get when you apply that and even the color section you can keep saturated by default also it's fine enough not like some other roms and regarding accessibility you get this kind of options there is no accessibility menu that's missing in this room and vibration and haptic feedback you can enable some of the settings from here accessibility menu is clearly missing in this room and security option while set up in the device they asked about pattern fingerprint and face unlock but i can't see face unlock here and encryption and credential phone is decrypted here it's not encrypted you need to keep in mind that too 
that's how it is there is no option of face unlock i don't know why it's not available is it a bug or what i don't know and into systems into gestures there is a swipe to screenshot three button it's working fine and even one handed mode is working fine and system navigation into gesture navigation there is option to increase the pill length but there is an option to increase the height but anyhow it's visible that's nice it's not too thin but it's thick enough to make use of it like if you swipe here as you can see it's smooth enough to switch between apps or home to other buttons i mean other apps you can easily access that's how the swiping gestures you can see here some of the options you can enable or disable if want you can keep to traditional three button navigation as you want and advanced restart button it's available now you can access the advanced restart button from here as you can see if you press restart you will get advanced restart button from here Coming to speed test in this particular ROM, I have here 100 Mbps Geo Giga Fiber connection. It's pulling up to 90 to 95 Mbps, which is pretty good. Even with mobile data connection, also it's going to be fine enough. It depends upon your network location and carrier aggregation is also working fine enough. Let's see the BGMI gameplay. I hope I explained everything. Let's move into BGMI. and let me show you the graphics settings and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe button down below and as you can see smooth plus 90 fps you can enable i told how to enable that people watch from here they don't understand how to enable hence watch from the beginning and loudness is also pretty good in this particular rom and device is not getting warm that's a really good thing finally i am making this review of carvos OS. many people ask for this i did not got any link for official build and finally they release one unofficial build latest one whenever they releases next build i will definitely cover that in my channel don't worry about that boot camp let's see i disabled auto matching it's a squad match and one thing i really liked in this rom is the display quality i increased little bit saturation and everything it looks really good and even bright enough i turned off auto brightness but auto brightness sensor is also working fine enough let's see whether i get any kill or anything like that can't show you live FPS count. If it is available, I will definitely show it out. Will I get any gun? I hope so. That's how the 90 FPS makes really sense. If you play in 45 FPS, I would have gone there only. That's how it is. One more. And this is default settings, guys. If you make some more control settings and uh, add peak settings, everything, you might get even better kills. That's how it is. I, I had no time to set all those things. And so I'm showing like this only. Let me get M416. Someone is coming backside me, he will come. Okay, he was hiding here. Let's see the TDM and with same graphic settings as you can see smooth plus 90 FPS. Let me decrease a little bit of volume, it's too loud. You may not hear because the microphone where I'm wearing it's a little bit far from recording.
okay i'll come back that was the gameplay it was very good and device is not getting warm that's really a good sense as you can see turbo charging is supported in this particular rom you can use the 30 day watt charging also if you want to slow charge you can use 10 watt charger also like me i don't think so anyone uses this it also still shows turbo charging i will update it when i like charge the smartphone if it is support as this this 33 watt charging or not and regarding the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's taking a little bit of time as you can see more than a second not a fastest they might fix it when upcoming builds this is an official build whenever as you can see again it's shown unlock with a face glance but it's not available in the settings let's check once again in the security settings whether it has face unlock or not no there is no face unlock option but it is showing like that that's how it is and uh, i hope I explained everything and gcam regarding gcam you can use arno build gcam with wide angle support i have already told in plenty of videos you can use that one and uh, coming to verdict this is a very good rom if you know how to pass the safety net fix then you can definitely try it out as a daily driver from now onwards it's that good even the battery life is also very good let me show you again into battery usage as you can see one hour four minutes and screen on time of one hour three minutes it kept to optimize you can restrict unrestrict for particular apps as you can see it's also kept to optimize that's how it is I hope I explained everything. If you liked the video, give it a like. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. And thank you for watching this video, guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.